Okay, the subject of today's video is backyard bucks shooting deer out the window. And our motivation is the Bible says to be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it, rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. So as we seek to fulfill this good commission and rule over the beasts of the field, hopefully bringing home some venison for dinner, uh, we can exert our authority in our backyards many times much easier than you know traveling a couple hours to our hunting spot maybe paying hundreds of thousands of dollars a year for a deer lease and so on if if the lord has provided maybe just a couple acres and a and a house where it can be safe and legal to shoot deer out the window why have a self-imposed rule uh, for traveling far into the woods. Now for people who prefer to do that, that's fine. Go deep into the woods and find and shoot your deer and drag it back to the truck, however many miles it is, and have fun and enjoy doing that. But what we've learned is that it can be easier and more cost effective, perhaps especially for hunters who are uh, disabled or younger or uh, maybe just don't like to sit in the woods and be cold for that long, uh, to set things up and shoot the deer out the window so the video is going to explain how to do that effectively. Okay this tremendous buck was shot uh, out of a backyard window uh, by this young mother with four young children at home. She really didn't have a lot of time to spend in the woods hunting but uh, her house was in a suitably rural location and uh, she spotted this buck uh, one morning going through her backyard and uh, ran to an upstairs window where she had a gun positioned and set up uh, like we'll show in a few minutes. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the outdoor setup for shooting deer out the window. And this is about a five acre property uh, that we're looking at and here's the main house. And the first thing you want to do when you're thinking about uh, setting things up is you want to understand and study carefully what the safe shooting directions are. So the 12 o'clock position here is due north and uh, a study of the area determined that from the 12 o'clock position all the way around to the uh, 6 o'clock position, uh, basically most of the westward type directions were not safe shooting directions, uh, but that there could be uh, a setup here that was a safe shooting direction uh, for a gunshot about 75 yards uh, into this wooded area. Uh, also, it was determined that there was another uh, 75 or 100 yard shot down in this direction to the south facing window. And also that one could set up an archery shot uh, out of a east facing window. And in fact, I recall putting in a window in a second floor bedroom up here on this side of the house to make that uh, east facing archery shot. And deer could be placed uh, wherever you wanted them on the property with suitable use of food plots or uh, piles of corn. And uh, we did a couple other things on this property as we built a couple of uh, backstops. And what different ways to build backstops, you could just build a big dirt berm, but uh, in those days, uh, we like to use a chainsaw, cut down a couple trees, and make a double or a triple thick stacks of firewood to serve as a backstop. Then you could put the bait, put the bait to place the deer right in front of the backstop, uh, just to to protect what might be uh, downrange. Okay, so here's another archery buck that was shot out of the uh, window facing the east that I just talked about. Uh, here's a young man with his first deer, friend of the family, invited him over one uh, to spend the night one night, and he sat and he shot this uh, deer out of the window facing north. Another young man with his first buck uh, shot it out of the window facing north. Uh, young man, younger man with his first buck, uh, sh I think this one was taken with archery, shot out of the window facing east. And one of the real nice things about backyard bucks shooting deer out the window is uh, enthusiastic hunters who might not be old enough to, to go sit in the woods for five, six, seven hours at a time 
Uh, they can just be downstairs watching video games and hey, somebody sees the buck show up on the corn pile and the young man runs up, uh, finds the crosshairs of the scope on the crossbow, lets one fly and next thing you know, he's got his first buck. Uh, this young lady, she's still in her pajamas? Yeah, she probably is. Shot her first buck out the window also. Alright, this is another homestead that we set up for uh, shooting deer out the window and things were a little more challenging here uh, because in this uh, time when we, this was set up uh, using bait wasn't legal in this uh, uh, jurisdiction so we needed to take a little more care. Now in this case uh, carefully studying the what was downrange because remember the gun safety rule be sure of your target and what is beyond it uh, determined that most from the from due north to 12 o'clock position around to about the 6 or 7 o'clock position were not safe shooting directions but from 12 o'clock westward to about 7 o'clock were safe shooting directions uh, but because bait wasn't allowed we couldn't just put a pile of corn or piles of corn out there uh, we used food plots and this is a farmer's field back here it's a different property but deer would often travel uh, along this little wood line and deer would often also travel along here so just uh, a little food plot in this area and a little food plot in this area we get the deer out in the open and hold them in a suitable location until they could be taken uh, another picture of a couple bucks successfully hard harvested in a backyard situation shot out the window. Let me also mention that uh, we always like to pray for hunting success and safety and care. Uh, so uh, all these bucks and other deer that you see harvested weren't just harvested by clever ideas, but we ask the Lord Jesus for help and wisdom and skill and for the deer to show up and then to make that shot accurately for a good clean kill when we're harvesting deer and we thank the Lord Jesus for our daily bread or daily venison as the case may be. The inside setup can greatly enhance uh, the odds of success uh, once the deer shows up outside the window. So here we have just for demonstration purposes a 45 caliber muzzleloader uh, that our family has killed lots of deer with out the window. Notice we have it on a bipod sitting on a table so that uh, it's going to be very stable and uh, easy shot uh, for just about any member of the family when the deer shows up. Also notice that the window isn't open any more than it really needs to be and that has several advantages. It reduces the probability of, this, of the deer uh, wending somebody inside. It reduces the probability of the deer being spooked by uh, motion inside the room as somebody approaches the muzzle loader and aims and takes the shot. It also reduces all the cold air coming in if it happens to be a cold day. Now one thing that we do that's not pictured here uh, to reduce the airflow is that we will hang a towel covering the opening. A towel is convenient because it can be removed uh, to take the shot uh, very quietly without alerting the deer. One of the things we've noticed is that depending on how far away the deer is, keeping the window closed and then trying to open the window and get the gun or the uh, crossbow into position for a shot uh, does make some noise, especially if the deer are like 20-25 yards away and is more likely to spook the deer, whereas the towel can be uh, quietly moved out of the way. Uh, so we shot a lot of deer out the window like this, both with the muzzle loader there, and that's a 45 caliber muzzle loader. It can be loaded very effectively uh, with a number of pistol caliber self-defense bullets and uh, light charges of uh, black powder or black powder substitute. And it's a lot quieter, say, for a shot early in the morning than uh, discharging a center fire rifle. Uh, crossbow can also be used. We Keep it in the same position there, uh, just a crossbow sitting on a bipod with a rear bag. Uh, when the deer shows up, whichever family member, it's their turn. Just uh, comes the crossbow, scoots the towel out of the way, 
and takes the shot.